Maybe you're just slowing down. Oh, maybe. I am getting older, but then again, so are you. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. About what? Getting older. I'll be eight years old next Sunday. No. Well, you really don't look it. Seven, maybe. Even seven and a half. But eight, never. How about a party? You mean a party with cake and ice cream and presents? Sure, and we can invite all the guys in my class. Well, what about the girls? Girls to a party? What for? I'm a girl. Yeah, but you're paying for it. Oh. How many guys in your class? Fourteen. Fourteen? It'll be fun, Mom, and we can have the whole party outside. How about inviting just a few close friends? Which ones? The same row friends, lunchbox friends, and walk home from school friends, and when the alarm bell rings, I hold hands with Harvey. Harvey? Harvey's my fire drill friend. Good old Harvey. And Bruce and Paco help me pass out the milk. And Michael Burgos is my very best handball friend. Well, 14's a lot of fellas, fella. We could just have Roll J. Wagadorn, I guess. But two guys and eight candles isn't much of a party. Well, a guy doesn't turn eight every day, so, uh, 14 it is. Wow! Thanks, Mom. Wait a minute. It's got to be 15. You forgot me. No, sorry, young man. 14 it is. But if you can catch me, maybe I'll squeeze you in. You mean you're having a party and you didn't invite me? Just the guys in my class, Richard. Yeah, Richard, you're too old. Oh, yeah? Well, who want to go to a shrimpy old third grader party anyways? Bunch of baby games. We're having cake and ice cream. So there. Ah, uh, kid stuff. I hate cake and ice cream. You do? Hi, Corey. Hi, Michael. Want to play handball? I can't come to your party. That's too bad. Going somewhere? No. My dad won't let me. How come? He just won't let me. I showed him your picture in the yearbook. He tore up the invitation. I don't know why. I bet I know why. And you do, too. Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry, Corey. Honest. That's too bad, Michael, because you're going to miss a real great party. Want to play some handball? Maybe tomorrow. Hey, Richard, you want to come to my party? What kind of eaters are you having? What's the matter, son? Oh, nothing. You sure? Well, when you're almost eight, there's some things you gotta work out for yourself. True. Very true. But sometimes it helps to talk about things with a friend. But you're just a mother. I'm sorry about that. I've always tried to be a friend, too. Michael Borgo's my handball friend, can't come to my party. Oh, that's too bad. You know why he can't come? Why? Because his daddy won't let him. Is Michael being punished for something? No. Michael's a good guy. It's just his father. Well, what about his father? He saw my picture in the yearbook and said Michael can't come. Mm-hmm. Well, Michael Borgos' father must be one of those sick people we've discussed before. You see, Corey... I know, Mom. What do you know? Like in school, there are some kids who just don't like other kids if they're not the same color or religion, even if they don't know anything about them. And I guess there's some grown-ups like that, too. It's pretty dumb if you ask me. 
You are too much, Corey Baker. You are really too much. And you're right. It is very dumb. What kind of parent would spoil a third grader's birthday party? What, what kind of a bigoted baboon would poison the friendship of two little boys? Well, that's the great part of it, Dr. Corey doesn't let things like that bother him. If anything, he feels sorry for Michael. <laughs> Our little Corey is really growing up, isn't he? Our Corey. Anyway, his party is going to be the outstanding social event of the third grade season. Those 14 little boys will have recess reminiscences for the rest of their lives. Here, here. <laughs> Did you say 14 little boys? That's what I said. 14 noisy bundles of energy all at the same time and in your apartment? Oh, no. We'll hold it on the patio lawn. It'll be a smash, an absolute smash. What if it rains? This time of year, nonsense. Old man Noah used those very same words. Well, my contribution will be Chegley's mystical luau punch, famous throughout the Pacific Fleet for three generations. On the other hand, it might be a little flat without the torpedo juice. <laughs> Jelly beans. We're only taking one from each cup. We've got to keep them even, don't we? I'll even you, young man, with a paddle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an ugly sky, Julia. Maybe it's high smog. What if it rains? If it rains, you heard him inside. I run away. Hey. Has the party started yet? Not for another 20 minutes, Richard, but we're only having third graders. Corey invited me. Oh? Sure, ask him. But he didn't give me a printed invitation, so I didn't bring him a present. Oh. Besides, I hate cake and ice cream. Good. Got any pie? Sorry, Richard. Fresh out. How about cookies or donuts? No, what, Julia? It's raining. What a dumb idea. Having a party in the rain. Hey, Mom, it's raining. Dad, yeah, it's raining. You can get very wet in the rain. So I've heard. Well, just don't stand there. Grab something. Hurry and take it inside. Let's save everything we can. You guys better Wet cake's worse than dry. You hurry too, Richard. Hurry! I'd help out, but I'm a guest. Oh. This time of year, not safe. I knew this was gonna be a stupid party. <laughs> But first, make a wish. What's your wish? You're not supposed to tell, stupid. Cut it. How Come much on. longer? One hour, 52 minutes, and 13 seconds. Assuming they're all reclaimed. <laughs> Don't you know any games? Spin the bottle? Mm -mm. Post office? Mm -mm. Sorry, this is my first stag party. Cory's. 
Enough's enough, Richard. You've already had three helpings. This is a dump party. Nothing to do. Well, maybe it'll stop raining and we can all go outside. Bet you it won't. I'm so glad you could come, Richard. Julia! What's the matter? We're running out of ice cream. What'll we do? Oh, do you have any in your freezer that I could borrow? Good thinking. I sure do. I'll go get it. No! I will. And leave me here alone with them? Don't worry. You think of something. <laughs> because you're on in five minutes. Well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, and thank you, Doctor. You're a real party saver. You'll never know how much this means to Corey and me. Never. But I don't know. And stretch I... it out as long as you can. We need at least an hour. And thanks again. I... Uh... <sighs> Maybe I should have gotten something safe. Like a machine gun or firecrackers. The go <clears throat> if you please. And you, young lady. Are you really great, Dr. Chagley? You will soon find out, young man. You will soon find out. Now, lads, I am going to prove to you that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now, here we have this lovely scarf, as you see. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, no, abracadabra. Oh. And there, beautiful flowers. I know that trick. I've got the same dumb magic set at home. And now, I have a magic egg. A lovely, fresh, Magic egg. Now watch carefully, and the great Chegley will change this egg into confetti. Watch carefully. Yeah! Oh, I know that one. That's just an old eggshell filled with confetti. <coughs> uh, now, let's, uh, let's do a little card trick, huh? Would you uh, pick a card, stranger? Any card at all. Any card. Don't let me see it now. Now, let me see. Would it be, uh... Let's see, could it be... Could the, the Queen of Diamonds! Richard, how would you like a paper bag to put over your head? Now listen, kid. You seem to know my whole act. So I am going to let you do the next trick. Sure, I know them all. You do. Now, see this? That is my magic coin. Nobody can jump over this coin. But nobody. Richard, if you manage to jump over this coin just once, it's yours. But if you can't, you've got to keep that oversized mouth of yours closed during the rest of my performance. Is it a deal? You betcha. Good. Now, don't forget, if you manage to jump over this just once, you get the coin. But once I place it, you cannot move it. Is that understood? Ah, uh, this is a cinch. Mm-hmm. 
Abracadabra, plenty of rain. Coin, stop Richard from being a pain. <laughs> now. <laughs> Yes, by the great Chegley. No, Sam! Oh, bud, you stay over there and just make believe you're the Statue of Liberty. All right, now, let's us uh, do a little card trick. Oh, my goodness. Looks as though I brought the wrong cards, huh? Corey, you still think I can do this trick? Sure. He cannot. He can, too. He's the great Chegley. And the great Chegley appreciates your faith in him. Now, well, there, I have an ace anyway. Uh-huh. And the king. And the queen. Jack, ten, that's a royal flush, as they say in poker. Oh, that's easy. Keep your mouth shut, Richard. A deal is a deal. <laughs> Well, I guess I had the right cards after all, huh? Now, as long as I've won all the money, I might as well let those little spots go home. Because we're back to vacant cards. How do you do that? It must be some kind of a trick.